Hi there, my name is Linda Artisani and I own Artisani Bookkeeping here in Estero, Florida. We're just a little bit north of Naples. So I'm going to start a series of videos for homeowners associations. And it's basically to step you through some of the recurring invoicing that needs to be done so that you can properly create your invoices and skip the step of having to do it every quarter, have it memorized and it's called recurring entries in QuickBooks Online. So we're gonna come over to our customer list. This is a very small condo association. There's only six units. And we're going to we're gonna set these up so that they're memorized. So I'm gonna create an invoice for this customer named Joseph Bergeron. And I'm gonna create his invoice as of 10-1 because that's the beginning of the, the last quarter of the year. And I'm gonna bill him for maintenance fees. So my maintenance fee account points to my maintenance fee income account on my um, income statement and my profit and loss sheet. So here's where I'm gonna charge him 450, it's 450 a quarter. I'm just going to save this to start before I re make it recurring. So now it's saved, 10-1 is in my books. And now I'm gonna make it recurring so I don't have to do this in January for the next quarter. And since we don't email these, these are gonna be just for our record purposes the people who live in the condo association know every quarter that they owe this fee. Now, if you have a condo association that does email them, you can definitely set that up. But for this purpose of this video, this is going to be really for record purposes of tracking the accounts receivable here in this company. So I'm gonna make this a scheduled recurring invoice. We're gonna schedule it on, on a monthly on the first day, but we wanna do every three months because it's really a quarterly billing. So we'll put the quarter. Uh, the next one will be on 1117. And then what I'm gonna do is just save the template. So now this is gonna populate on its own. I'll do the next one, Lisa Rolando, create an invoice, maintenance fees. Again, it's 10-1. Save it first so that it saves to my books and then make it recurring. So I'm gonna make it recurring. I don't want it to print because it's not gonna be sent out. And then we're gonna make it happen every three months because it's gonna be a quarterly. And then you can also use the calendar here to select your January 1st date. And these will populate all, all on their own. So now if I go to my recurring list, that's under this gear wheel. There's so many little settings under the gear wheel as you'll see in a moment. So if I wanna to go to my recurring transactions, here's my recurring transla transaction list. Now I'm going to see that these are all scheduled. They're all gonna be populated every three months. The October date is in, so I don't have to worry about that. The next date they're gonna populate, just to recheck my information, make sure that they're correct. And then if the amount was $450. So that's how simple it is to create these recurring transactions. So when I come to work on January 2nd, because the first is a holiday, I will come in and because I have that scheduled, they're automatically gonna populate in the books and they'll be in there on January 2nd and then when I get my payments and I can apply the payments to those. So that's basically in a nutshell, a very quick video on how to set up recurring transactions and voices in QuickBooks Online. I hope it was informative. Stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.